Welcome. This is a uh, hydrogen at home, and here we have my stainless steel plate. It's a uh, 304 stainless steel. I would have preferred to have got um, 430 or uh, 316 stainless steel, but this is all I could get at the time. So it will do for now. So as you can see, instead of um, going to expensive like getting expensive cutters and all that, all I've got here is a level and uh, just using a jigsaw with a really fine tooth really fine tooth blade and um, as you can see that's cutting through pretty well so I'm going to keep cutting that out see how we go this sheet I'm going to cut into sizes of 200 across here by 70 down so out of this whole sheet that'll give me enough to do probably about three different cells. Here we have our uh, individual cells. Okay, so we've cut up our big plate. Um, out of that plate I was able to get 40 of these individual plates. And I've started already, and this is what I've turned them into. These are going to make a uh, eight plate cell. I'm also going to make two other cells, both uh, 16 plates each. And I'm going to start putting that together now. And here we have the um, finished cell put together. It's um, kind of similar in design to the John Aaron's cell that he makes. A little bit different in the, the way that the, the points in which I've put the um, uh, cables onto. The uh, theory behind why I've done this is a couple of reasons why I've, why I've done it at each end rather than rather than both at the same end here. One is for a a new way of hooking it up in in a container without having to have these cables actually going in the water. I know that has caused some problems for for some people because the cable itself uh, rusting so um, I'll be showing that in the next couple of videos so stay tuned for that the other theory I guess you could call it that I had was um, electricity as a whole um, is very lazy and it loves to take the closest possible path so um, and anyone's welcome to prove me wrong but um, my theory was that if both lots of power were coming in close together up here a lot of the electricity put through the water would be focused at this point whereas having one at either end potentially might get a, a slightly better spread throughout the entire plate and make better use of the, um, the plates but as I said it's, it's just a theory so um, if anyone wants to comment on that <laughs> feel free alright we're gonna Try out um, this 8 plate, plate uh, system here now. Um, just before I do that, I thought I might share something about if you're trying this like I am at the very early stages without having a, um, a fuse and a proper switch set up. Um, there's a little trick you can do. Make sure you haven't created any hydrogen yet, by the way. Um, to see whether or not there are any short circuits in your in your plates. Now. Obviously the best way to do it is with a fuse, but if you are only using a switch or not using a switch at all, then without having your plates in the water, just quickly brush past and see if there's any sparks. If there are, then you, you've probably got a short. Um, don't do it with the cell in the water because you will actually will get some sparks cooking up this way with the cell in the water quite often. This water again is just out of the tap, it's just filtered water. Um, I want to get some distilled water, but it's a bit too expensive at some of the shops like hardware stores and stuff. So I want to try and get it direct from a dealer somewhere. Okay, I'm going to try this out. It's also just got uh, baking soda in it at the moment. I would prefer to use another electrolyte. That's going off. Um, I have heard that. 
baking soda isn't terrifically good for you when you um, create hydrogen like this. Um, I'm actually doing this on the stove so that I can utilize the uh, ceiling fan above so that I um, can get rid of some of that stuff. Alright, stay tuned. Catch you later.